All right, son, it's getting late, and it's time now for you to go to bed. Okay, Papa. But first, could I ask for a bedtime story? Why, yes, of course you may ask for a bedtime story. I'd be more than happy to give you one. Let us see here. Which story shall I choose? Yes, this one shall do just fine. You know, I remember this story being read to me when I was a child. Oh yes? And what is the name of this book? Well, let us take a look here. Oh, that's a very good title indeed. Yes, I agree. Now lie down, so we shall begin our bedtime story. Okay, Papa. Let's start at the beginning. One day there was this guy, like, in a wheelchair. And nobody really knows exactly how he did it, you know, but he was crossing in front of a truck, eh? And, and somehow he managed to get himself uh, kind of hooked up in front of the grill and got himself stuck there, eh? So anyways, the, the truck driver, he didn't know that this guy in the wheelchair was down there and he couldn't see him and he certainly couldn't hear him. So he uh, he started driving, eh? And so anyways, he, he, he took the truck out onto the freeway and he was cruising pretty good for a while, you know? Like, I think he got up to like 80 clicks an hour at one point. And uh, people were getting pretty upset, you know. I mean, it's not every day you see a truck pushing a wheelchair down the highway like that, you know. Eh? So they started calling the cops, and there was a good number of police calls in to the police station, eh? Now, I'm not sure if the cops believed them at first, but could you imagine seeing that yourself? Man, I don't know if I would be laughing or if I'd be chasing the truck to try to stop it or if it was a joke or what, man. That's terrible. So like, yeah, eventually the police got a hold of these guys and they stopped the truck and everything turned out to be okay, you know, except for the fact that he had a little bit of rubber missing on the bottom of his wheels. But uh, this guy was uh, totally fine other than being a little shook up at first. So not only did this guy get six and a half minutes of the greatest adventure of his life, he turned out okay and the next day, he got to go to camp. Talk about a win. And now it's time to sing.